Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to be showing you how we can restrict API Gateway um, via IAM. So I have a basic Lambda function here which is going to be triggered by my API Gateway. It's just a default Lambda function um, responding with the hello Lambda message and a 200 status code. So firstly, we just want to add a trigger here and we want to select API Gateway. We want to create, yep, create an API. We want a REST API, and then the security is going to be IAM. If we click Add, and then we've got this API Gateway resource up here. Just going to open it up in a new tab. We're just going to add a get action or method, sorry. And then we want to select our Lambda function. So this was I am um, auth test. And then click save. And then we're just giving the API gateway permission to invoke the Lambda function. And we select method request. And under authorization, we want to select AWS IAM. And if we click, click tick on that, and then we're going to deploy the API. Deployment stage, I'm just using the default. And then we click deploy. And then we go down to the get URL, and this is the URL we will use to invoke the Lambda function. And I'll be using Postman to invoke this. But firstly, we need to configure the settings in IAM. So we need to create a user first for this. I'll just call this auth test. And we need to give it programmatic access because we need an access key and a security access key. First, I will create a group for this. And we'll call this group Lambda I am off test. And then we also need to create a policy for this to enable the group or any users in that group to be able to actually invoke the function. So the surface is going to be API. And it'll be this one here, not API gateway, but execute API. And then for the access level, we want to select invoke here. And then resources, we want to specify the API resource that we created earlier. So we need to add the ARN for this. And then you just want to fill out the region. So mine is US East 1. The API ID, which is given here in the URL. The API ID can be shown here. So if we click on a list of our APIs from this section here, we can see the ID for all the APIs down here. So then we need, as I said, we need the ID and the stage. So my stage was default. Method is get. And the API resource path is going to be off guest, sorry, off test. And we'll just sort out this here. So we have the region, we have the account, we have the API ID, we have the stage, the methods, and the specific resource path. So then we need to add this and then click review. And I will quickly just give this a name. So API invoke, maybe test API invoke policy. Now, if we just click create, if we go back to this screen here, hit refresh. 
and then we can see our policy here. So test off get access, and then if we select this, if I just move myself over here, it might be easier. And then if we select create group, and let's move myself back here. So now our group's been set up, we can now add the users to the group here. So the lambda I am auth test. Let me go to next and then review and then create user. And then we've been given our access keys and our secret access key. So before we go ahead and set up the, the IAM method for getting this API, I just want to show you like the default of what the user will get back in Postman without specifying their access key ID or their secret access key. So again, we need the invoke URL, which is here. And then we just paste it into here and click send. And we can see here we're missing the authentication token. This is a great tool, by the way, um, for testing APIs. I'll put the link for this in the description, but I'm sure many of you guys have used this in the past. So now we need to place the access key ID and secret access key ID in Postman. In order to do this, we need to go to authorization and select the type and then go to AWS signature. And then we just need to place our access key and secret key ID in here. So I will put those in now. And then once you've placed those keys in the authorization tab, you can then go ahead and click send. And then we can see we've got our status code for the 200 and the message back in the body of Hello Lambda. And that is how we can restrict API Gateway via IAM. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.